Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow, this is Air Orchid VR indeed. All right. Uh, let's see, developed by Kevin Gonzalez via side quest, by the way. If you wonder, oh, there's a couch there. So, so let's see how it plays. Uh, first of all, I need to maybe adjust things. Uh, I want to be a bit further away. So let's see if there's option to adjust. Uh, ah, no. So I think I need to adjust the guardian again. I'm just gonna go to guardian. Adjust guardian. There should be something that you can easily adjust location inside the app. Uh, confirm. Switch to stationary. Confirm. Oh, now it's better. All right. So let's see what this one is all about. Well, just arrow key, I guess. Uh, so we can actually hold this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is great. By the way, if the controller was in reverse, it was perfect. Like this is the way you actually hold it. But this is great as well. So we are playing against AI. <laughs> the physics are perfect, by the way. <laughs> but I think it should be a bit smaller. Oh, no. No, it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh, I just hit the, the chair. That's why it's important to make sure there's nothing actually. No. <laughs> AI playing against me. Oh my god, crazy. I always like the physics of this game. In real life, I mean, and the same goes here. I just remember that this is all oh, nice, big, small, but maybe I haven't played for a long time. And this is one of my favorite arcade games. <laughs> In the arcades, I mean. No, arcade games. Oh, it actually flew off the. Nah, it's very realistic. It actually flew off. <laughs> wow, this is just perfect. You just nailed the physics perfectly. <laughs> it flew out again. <laughs> It's amazing, you know, when you bring certain activities of real life to VR, some you connect with, some not, but this one is just perfect. Feels great. So what next? Multiplayer? Ah, it flew up again. Oh, no. Mistakes. Again. Nice. Wow, this is a blast. I can't believe I can actually play a game like this in VR. This is so much fun. One of the big advantages. You can bring so many types of games to play in real life to VR and just play in whatever you like, whenever you like, wherever you like. Oh, out. Out again. <laughs> oh, this is great. Wow, so fast. Come on, it can do better than this. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, by the way. Yeah, it's very good. Come on. But I wish that... Come on, if you already put... This is not kind of a... I mean... Invested more on the walls and the ceilings than the quality of this circles, the image here of the circles. Looks like low quality. I mean, it shouldn't be like that. I mean, everything, look at the, everything around it. This, the, this one should be rounder, I think, and the quality of the image of the table should be better, I think. Just seeing all of this beauty that I don't even look at most of the time, just looking at the table. I just think that this image quality should be improved on the table, the texture, I mean. And then this is fun. But yeah, by the way, there's always ways to improve uh, games like this in virtual reality. Uh, so I know that it's nice having like a mode which is kind of a, um, you know, still reliable, uh, um, reliable like the, not reliable, uh, 
you know, like the real life, you know, same as the real life, but make it more visually impressive and arcadey in terms of a video game, you know, just add maybe effects, cool effects, and maybe turn the lights off, I uh, not the light, yeah, just dim the lights and make something kind of more exciting, you know, as a video game. So many things you can do, but of course, uh, having kind of a standard game that looks realistic is more that I'm enjoying it, especially the start, but I want to have something kind of more visually exciting. Come on. Yes, overall a great one. Uh, definitely there's a way for making it even better, but this is the start. It nailed the mechanics perfectly. The physics are great. It's fun playing against an AI. I feel like I'm really playing against a real player. But maybe adding a multiplayer would be nice. Although it's not a must if you can choose different. Uh, but again, this can be even better. Uh, and then some effects, come on, visual effects and sound effects, that could be really cool uh, for a game like this. Just enhance it, in a way. Yeah, so you can download this one on SideQuest for free and try it out. It was released on, if I'm not wrong, on January 21st, um, 2021. So make sure you check it out on SideQuest, install it on your Quest. I'm playing this one on the Oculus Quest 2, and it just feels like close to perfect. So this is it for this video, consider subscribing to my channel and give this game a like. <laughs> and I'll see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks Kelvin for the amazing, amazing game. You can play this cocky, uh, arrow key, this cocky, arrow key in my room. It's perfect. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye bye. Free goal. Come on. Let's see if you can do it. I give it for free. Come on. Let's see if you are good. Ha! You missed. Again. You missed. Ha! New AI! Another chance, come on. Come on, do it. Hello, come on. Nice, well done. Creep!